Hai, Assalamualaikum. I will start this presentation with introduction. My Kasih is a charity organization founded by Tan Sri Dr. Ngau Bun Ke and his wife in April 2009. My Kasih is also a humanitarian NGO that aims to help families and students who are less fortunate. Among the alternatives of the My Kasih Foundation are the My Kasih Food Aid Program called Love My Neighborhood and the My Kasih Student Bursary Program called Love My School. This assistance is contributed through a cashless payment system through the use of my card. Every purchase assistant can only be used at certain stores, including my day and giant. Lastly, my cousin has also collaborated with health agency and social organization to provide services for health and comprehensive educational assistance to all community groups. Next, we go to the My Kasi program, which is a food aid program. The My Kasi food aid program exclusively provides aid to low-income Malaysian individuals. The executive chairman of a dialogue, Tan Sri Dr. Ngau Bun Kid, and his wife, Wan Sri Chin, also founded this special initiative in 2019. As a result, the food aid program exclusively helps to provide nutritional and educational aid to these families. Technology designed to pay for essential without cash by the using my card. So what the beneficiary of this program? The beneficiary of this assistance receive payment directly credited to their my card account, which they may use to pay for essential like grocery at more than 350 supermarkets throughout Malaysia. Major supermarket like a giant, Maiden, Econsafe, Eon, and 99 Speedman accept this payment method. Each family must check their eligibility by visiting www.mycase.com to see if they are eligible to receive aid under the food aid program. It can help prevent the misprovision of money during payment transaction. Four step for recipient to using my Kasi technology. The first one, beneficiary can select from list of 10 products including rice, cooking oil, biscuit, eggs, flour, seasoning, canned foods, noodles, and bread. The secondly, the cashier will scan each item the certified barcode to avoid fraud. Thirdly, recipient must present their my card and enter six digit pin to ensure that my card is not used by others. And fourth, the recipient must keep the receipt to track of their carry forward available amount. Next, I will continue with my cassette effort. There are several efforts implemented by the My Cassie Foundation, among which is the COVID 19 cashless food aid support program. This program focuses on poverty elevation among target low-income group in urban areas. After the country was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, many people were laid off following the implementation of the MCO. So this program played an important role in helping the affected people. The initiative of this program is carried out entirely by NGOs and it is also supported by several government agencies such as Lembaga Tabung Haji Selangor. Following the MCO that has been announced, a total of 3 million in funds have been created by the government and agency involved to help the poor and those who have lost their sources of income due to the MCO. A total of 2,500 fami families and 500 native from Perak, Kelantan, Pahang and Selangor have received assistance from this program. 
The next effort is through the Prihatin Kasi program. This program was announced by Tan Sri Datuk Sri Haji Mahidin, who was the Prime Minister of Malaysia at that time. Prihatin Kasi is also known as the Strategic People and Economic Empowerment Program, Memperkasa, and this program is also one of the budget frameworks for 2021 that has been announced by the Malaysian Finance Minister, Datuk Sri Tengku Zafrul Abdulaziz. One of the efforts of this program is to provide an allocation of 100 million in the form of cashless food aid to 300,000 urban poor households throughout Malaysia. This assistance is provided in stages to each stage, starting in July 2021 and ending in full in of October 2021. This initiative is one of the best efforts to reduce the cost of living. Lastly, Kase Joho is another effort that has established in collaboration with my Kase. This program was founded by Ya Ahmad Berhormat, Datuk Haji Hasni bin Muhammad, Johor Chief Minister in June 2021. Kase Joho was founded in conjunction with the Economic Stimulus Package PRI 3.0 in Ehsan Johor and has donated 200 in the form of voucher for necessities for to B40 household that has never received any assistance from the state government to help with living expenses. Furthermore, every Kasih Johor recipient can use cashless merchandise voucher at participating supermarkets such as Mayday, Giant and 1990 Speed Mart until December 2021. Next, I will continue with SWOT analysis of my Kasih. The first one is strength. The strength of my Kasih Foundation is founded by corporate and individual donors who believe that their contribution will be sent to the intended recipient in a secure, efficient and responsible way. Yes, I have now appointed my Kasih Foundation in June to carry out the government's pre-hunting Kasih cashless food aid program. So far, nearly RM40 million in food has been delivered to 138,000 disadvantaged urban families across the countries. Simultaneously, the Johor State Government requested that we implement the Kasi Johor Food Cashless Food Aid Scheme, which will provide a one-time RM200 grand per household to 300,000 of the states needy. In addition to that, this Kasi program this MyCasi program has a sufficient donors for the program they handle. This is because this donor came from the big companies in Malaysia. Tashi Dr. Ngao Bon Kit, the chairman of the MyCasi, as well as the company like Dialogue Group Berhad, Linako Foods Industries, CIMB Foundation, Japan Tobacco Inc. International JTM Malaysia, Henneke Malaysia, and several other well wishes are among the organization's major donors. The second one is weakness. The weakness of my Kasi program is it is not applicable to all promise. This is because people that live in rural areas, especially indigenous people, most of them does not have my card. In order to claim this free food aid, the minimum requirement is own a my card is the my card, the cheap based identity card given to every relation, or the smart card is used to make all distributions. Assuredly, the distribution may be held in a FAT transparent and a secure manner with no leaks, but of course, those who do not have my card will feel left out. Makasi should find a way how to make sure this food is can reach out to those who are needed and does not have a my card. Since the application is online, the, of course, there is a limited internet access, especially people that live in a rural area. Moreover, the areas might not guarantee to have high-speed internet since the coverage might be slow as it is located in rural areas. It will be the best if my castle can make an application both online and offline so that it can ease people burdens who do not have internet access at their home. The third one is opportunity. The opportunity of my Kasi program is the Blueprint 70 Sustainable Development Goals SDG which aim to safeguard the environment, elevate extreme poverty, and reduce inequality and injustice by 2030. 
are at its core, the SDG, which were adopted by 193 nations in 2015, have motivated people from all these regions and cultural backgrounds to concentrate on concept, project, and initiatives that have a greater impact, adverse the SDG, absolute necessity of leaving no ones behind, are supported by data, real world commitments, and action. In junction with the 73rd anniversary of United Nations, My Cancer Foundation was awarded with the 2018 United Nations Malaysia Award for Leaving No One Behind on October 24, 2018. The recognition was given to the efficient technology driven technique of distributing aid to many low income Malaysians. Next, a special barcode scanner at the point of scale very fast that only authorized basic food items are bought in order to prevent abuse. When paying their uh, my card at the cashier's counter, recipients will enter their six digit PIN and preserve the receipt to keep track of their remaining balance and that will be carried over. The procedure will be quick, safe and most importantly open. Fourth point is threat. The threat of my cancer program is irresponsible party can manipulate information regarding the food aid program through the social media. As what stated from Sina Haria, Pakatan Harapan Communication Director from Mifazil, said that the poster that went viral through the WhatsApp appli application related to giving aid to the people was the fake news. Through a picture shared on Twitter, the fake news display is that the grant of subsistence allowance PSH continues. Special assistance of RM700 credited before end of the year and the MyCastle Food Assistance Program of RM100 for three months and the approval of special targeted release of the Employee Provident Fund EPF. A lot of fake news is being spread on WhatsApp. Moreover, due to uprising COVID-19 cases throughout this year, the food security, security alarming the NGO itself. This is because the spread of COVID-19 pandemic and the implication of the Movement Control Order MCO have directly and indirectly affected the country's agro-food industry, which it interferes with the smoothness of food chains such as the production distribution, marketing and retailing of agriculture and food industry products. I will carry on with the achievement of my case. One of the achievements is my Cancer Foundation was given the 2018 United Nations Nation Award for its Leaving No One's Behind campaign. With its selection to earn the 2018 UN Malaysia Award for major contribution to the Revolutionary Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals, the My Cancer Foundation reached yet another important milestone. My Cancer Foundation received the 2018 UN Malaysia Award in the leaving no one's behind for its efficient and innovative approach to welfare distribution that has touched a significant portion of Malaysia in the B40 category, particularly those who are most in need. The cashless MyCastle welfare distribution system has been effectively implemented by state and federal governments along with the businessless businesses for their corporate social responsibility program to give uh, targeted and directed aid. It has the ability to improve Malaysia's social aid distribution. Assalamualaikum. I will continue with my part which is recommendation. As we know, My Kasi is a charity organization that has long been established to take care of the welfare of the community on a voluntary basis. My Kasi have proven successful in many programs organized to ease the burden of people in distress. Even so, My Kasi has never made a program with the orphans. Although most of the orphanages have received the help from the community, My Kasi can also provide mental assistance. So, the first recommendation is to help and implement welfare program for the orphans. For example, my Kasi can create a program with orphans to increase the love between them. Orphans are in dire need of love from the public, so My Kasi can organize program with them so that they feel loved and appreciate like other children. In this program, 
My Kasi can send help such as toys and games to add more cheerfulness so that they can feel like children who have parents. Therefore, from this program, we can build the speed and cheer up their life of these children so that they continue to be enthusiastic even without the parents. Other recommendation is my Kasi needs to make uh, improvements to the MyCard technology that they use which is to increase the number of retail stores that use this technology. In general, my Kasi has more than 250 retail partners nationwide. The use of a cashless payment system based on MyCard chip technology ensures that welfare ad is final to the correct recipient. With the improvement, assistant recipient will be able to shop for basics closer to their homes and we no longer have to go to store located far from their homes. Besides, all the recipients of this assistant from the impoverished are unaware of the most recent technologies. My Kasi must also provide effective exposure to the elderly in this improvement since it, it involves the new technology. In conclusion, as already said before, the main objective of my Kasi is improving the quality of life for the poor in the society despite of their race, gender or any other aspect. This is done through the promotion of loving and caring environment in Malaysia. My Kasi Foundation aims to ensure that the poor are not just given food in society, but also with enough empowerment to enhance their quality of life. This foundation also provides skills and entrepreneur training to give the poor with the knowledge and abilities they need to actualize their potential. It is clear that my Kasi has important role in Malaysia, although they have their own shortcomings that they are able to improve. This organization has significantly contributed in improving the lives of the people in the community. They also has emphasized on empowering the less fortunate in the community in order to help them in order to help them come out of poverty. Through its activity, the organization has managed to break the chain of poverty in the society. Unlike in many organizations that tend to be partial, my Kasi has managed to maintain their objectivity in its operation. These attributes has helped the organization in the support from its donor and other human welfare agency. That's all for our video presentation. Thank you.